Hey everybody! Well today I thought I would do a um, makeup application, something that I do quickly just to give my eye a little bit of definition and uh, color without really getting into a really long procedure to do it. So lately what I've been doing is um, I use the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly and that's what I use to uh, prime my uh, lids, which I've already done um, done completely on the one that I've done and then I've done on the one that I'm going to do for you today. And I really like this. I like the consistency of it. Um, I like the way that it applies. I don't find that I need any of the other um, primers like the Urban Decay, which you end up having to cut to get really most of the product out, or some of the other ones that are a little bit too liquidy. And I just find this is really nice as you press it into your um, lid. It makes a really nice surface and uh, the color is really nice. Um, so I did that and the next thing that I'm doing is um, I have this Shoe Umera and this is the cream eyeshadow in white and what I like the consistency of this. I find that the application of this is very smooth and I just do it with my pinky. Um, now the other thing that I do is I put a little bit over here to bring up the highlight on my brow and I do sort of align this way um, so that I get the whole appearance of um, an uplifting from the color and I just pat that in very gently. So then what I do is I um, put on a base color and I do either a light beige or a light pink. Um, you can really use pretty much whatever that you have. It's important to know when you watch makeup tutorials that you don't have to run right out and buy whatever the product is that the person is using. Now today what I'm using is this is from uh, Boots number no. 7. It's the Good Earth palette and the colors are really nice but the problem with this is that you see how narrow these are so you need a narrow brush to get in and get the color without getting any of the other colors which is a little bit annoying. I'm going to put this all over my eyelid right up into the brow. Uh, so then the next thing that I'm going to do is I put a, a little heavier beige over it and what I'm using is the Glow Minerals uh, this color is called Bamboo these are really nice shadows and I'll go on my lid and into my crease to put that color there because I like to keep the lighter color up towards my brow and again I'm doing that patting in motion and still using the small brush because as I, you've probably heard me say before I get a little bit lazy with using all the different brushes. Now at this point I will take um, my Sigma SS224 and just sort of buff everything in to make sure it's in nice and smooth. And then I will go back to my um, number sevens palette and I'm going to use this bottom color here, this brown, and I'm going to do that in sort of the V going across my eye. Just get a little bit underneath. This is why you do your uh, makeup application afterwards so that you can take off any of the uh, fallout from the shadows. And I'm really concentrating more on the V area and then just bringing a little bit in. I also don't like to get that dark inside. I feel it draws my eyes out. I like to try to lift them out this way. And then again I go back with the Sigma brush and just buff that so that all of the colors blend and you don't get a line from one color to the next. Now the next thing that I'm going to use is my new shadow from MAC, my Zonk Blue, which I did a review on beautiful shade, this blue-green shade that I really like. And this is why, as I mentioned before, that I can use a little bit more shimmers because I just really use this for an accent in the V. So if it's a little more shimmery than I would normally use, it's not a problem because I'm not putting it all over my eyelid. So I go in and again I keep, I don't go out into this part of my eye. I don't like the color going out that way for an everyday look. So I keep it just in the V. And if you want to, you might want to change brushes at this point because this is a little bit harder to apply with this brush. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to just leave it in that way. And I bring the color almost to like maybe the mid of my eye. So there's a good bit of uh, color as opposed to just the very outer corner. And of course, adjust this according to your eye size. If your eye area is smaller, so then bring it out a little further. If your eye area is bigger, you can bring it in a little closer. Um, I find that most people, they may not realize it, but they really know what their own eyes are and their own looks are, so try to adjust it according, accordingly to what your eye shape is. And you can darken that up depending on how strong that you want the look to be. And then I also do it and draw it just under my eye, just a little bit. I'm going to actually go back and do this a second time after I do the next step. And again, I blend it. 
So it's blended really nice. And then I'm going to use a liner that is, I've had this for a million years. I don't even know if the company still exists, but I keep going back to this because I love the color and I love the texture. It's CCCICI, and this is an Azure Blue. And I'm going to bring it just under my lower la uh, lash line, very gently, to about, um, again, about the middle of the eye. And the same thing on the top. I'm not crazy about having my liner go all the way over. So I tend to do it a little bit darker. I keep them th thin no matter what, but I tend to do it a little bit darker on the ends. And then afterwards I draw it forward to just get it very lightly towards the end. So what I do then is I'm going back with my blue and I'm going to just pat that over to set it. And at this point I pull it forward just to give myself a little bit of the color going towards the inside, but really not strong, just to sort of fade it out so that it doesn't abruptly stop in the middle of your eye. And then the same thing, I use a little bit underneath to just sort of set that pencil. So let me use just a teeny bit more. And always you can adjust according to how strong you want the color to be. So take a, take a step back, take a look at it, um, so you can see the full effect as opposed to up close in your makeup mirror, and adjust accordingly to how you think you like the color to look throughout the day. I'm using this uh, Dior Show uh, Brow Shaper. It's a pencil that has the little brush on one end and then you roll it up on the other end and it has the um, eyebrow pencil on it. Universal brown. So I do very light feathery type of stroking on my brows making sure that I get the um, arch the way that I want it and I have my eyes plucked pretty much in the shape that I like them. My eyebrows that is. And then I bring that outer line down and then I brush it again just to have it work in because I like it to be very light. My eyebrows are pretty dark so I don't, I don't need a lot of help on the eyebrows. Um, then what I do is I've been using uh, the MAC uh, Prep and Prime on my lashes. And you can see that goes on white. It will dry. The trick I think with this product is to make sure it doesn't dry before you use your mascara because otherwise I think it makes the application harder to do with your mascara. And the mascara that I'm going to use today is the Dior Show Iconic in black. And that has that sort of rubber tip applica applicator. And I pull them. I'm not a big person on curling my lashes. I know it's really the right thing to do and for some reason I always forget it. And my lashes have a little bit of a curl but they're very long so I, I tend to do it more for um, dress when I'm really concentrating and getting the, the biggest pow look in the eyelashes, but for every day I tend to forget it. So I take the mascara, I put it at the base of my lashes, trying to keep it thick at the bottom. I wiggle them back and forth and then draw them out. And if you take your time on mascara, you'll get less clumping. I don't think anybody's invented yet, although everybody talks about the newest, greatest mascaras and how they don't clump, but I find that after a while they really all do. So again, and I go towards the inner too and just wiggle them back and forth and out. You can see my lashes are really getting long from that uh, castor oil treatment that I do. I think there's just less breakage than there's ever been before so they've been allowed, uh, it's allowing them to grow as opposed to enhancing them with any kind of drugs. And then I do do my bottom lashes and this is again a, mat a matter of preference of what's the best application for you. I sort of put them in and wiggle it around to get everything coated and then I brush it down. And that's it. That's it. One, two, three. I mean it takes longer because I'm explaining it to everybody but um, it's quick and it's easy. Um, it's a very light fresh look. It, the green, the zonk blue and the pencil liner gives me just a little bit of color so as I turn from one way to the uh, one side to the other people can see sort of some color. It enhances the color of my eyes and um, it's just a really simple application to do. So I hope that you enjoy that. If there are any questions, I'm actually going to finish the video and go now and put my makeup on, get rid of a little bit of this redness that I'm seeing. And uh, that's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody.